Hi, Andrew here from Socket and C. In this video, I'm going to be showing you the CB400 checkbox from Socket and C. We'll take a look at how to check the ongoing accuracy of your single function or multifunction testers using this checkbox. In this video, I'll be using the Socket and C MFT5000 multifunction tester. For more information on these testers, see everything at www.socketandc.co.uk. First off, I'm going to use the CB400 checkbox to check the ongoing accuracy of the MFT5000's insulation test. The CB400 checkbox doesn't just check the resistance being measured, it checks the output current of the tester. So if I switch to 250 volts on the MFT and 0.25 mega ohm on the checkbox, push to test, we see the reading is 0.25 meg and we get the correct current and voltage output on the checkbox. So next, switch to 500 volts on the MFT and then switch to 0.5 meg on the checkbox, push to test and again we get 0.5 meg and the correct voltage and current output on the checkbox. Next test, 1000 volts at 1 meg, push to test, we get approximately 1 meg in the correct current and voltage output on the checkbox, and then we can finish testing the MFT by testing at 2 meg, then 10 meg, then 200 meg, And that concludes the insulation accuracy testing. So next we're going to check the accuracy of the continuity feature on the MFT5000 by using the Socket and C CB400 checkbox. If I press test while null is selected on the CB400, I get a reading of 0.67. This is the resistance of the test leads and the internals of the CB400. So now I will press continuity null to zero the measurement. So once reading zero, I can then apply the resistance using the test box. So switch to 0.5, and then we should get a reading of approximately 0.5 ohms. One ohm. Two ohms. At the 2 ohms test, the CB400 will always check for 200 milliamp output and switch up to 100 ohms and finally 2000 ohms and that concludes the accuracy testing for continuity. I'm now going to use the CB400 to check the accuracy of the MFT5000 30 milliamp auto test. On the CB400 I've selected 30 milliamps times one half. I'll then select 30 milliamps auto, ensure we're on type AC, and start the test. Initially we should have a reading of over 200 at 0 degrees, and then the test will be carried out at 180 degrees. I'll then select times 1 on the checkbox. The test will be carried out at 0 degrees, and then 180 degrees. And then finally select times 5, and again 0 degrees and 180 degree test will be carried out. And during each test, the correct test current light will illuminate on this checkbox as long as the current output is correct. And then finally on the MFT, all results are displayed. That concludes the RCD accuracy testing. Finally, I'm going to use the CB400 to check the accuracy of the MFT5000 loop test. I'm simply selecting local on the CB400 checkbox. This first measurement is dependent on the local earth loop impedance and the internal impedance of the CB400. So once I press test on the MFT, I'll get a loop reading. It is quite a high reading in this case because we're running off extension leads, but that's not a problem. So I'll switch the tester off and then add 1 ohm onto the local loop. So we should expect a reading, in this case, of about 1.9 ohms. So 
so 1.9 is expected again switch the tester off and this time I'm adding 100 ohms onto local loop so we should expect a test value in the region of 101 ohms This concludes the loop testing and we can now be sure that the MFT is accurate and we've completed our ongoing checks.